sorry to go no CV. you're very welcome to my youtube channel where i post useful information about cancer and also i drop videos on how to promote your general health <laughs> So in my video today, I'm going to be talking about the early warning signs of prostate cancer. These are the signs you notice when there is a prostate pathology. But for you to benefit from this video completely, I'd urge you to watch my video till the end. And if you're new to my channel, you're very welcome. Ensure that you subscribe to my channel so that you'll be getting useful information like this. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so I'll be getting notified each time I drop new videos on my channel. The National Cancer Center, in collaboration with the federal government, estimates that men have about a 1 in 7 chance of developing prostate cancer at some point during their lifetime. So for, when you notice any of those symptoms that I'm about to mention in this video, you'll tell your healthcare provider because it could likely indicate that this is a prostate cancer or any other prostate pathology. So I'll start by telling us about the painful or difficulty in voiding or difficulty when you're passing urine okay so this happened because the prostate gland is located right below your bladder and your urethra passes through the prostate gland and also the prostate gland have a very vital role to play when it comes to voiding of urine or urination so you'd always experience cramps or pains of which it is a very very important sign that might indicate there is a prostate pathology of which you should notify your healthcare provider so that you'll be treated on time another symptoms you would always experience is frequency in urination this happen especially in the night so you notice that this might come in form of urgency so when you notice that you cannot hold your urine again or you cannot hold the urge of voiding please ensure you notify your healthcare provider so that you'll be treated on time the third symptom i'm going to talk about today is when you notice there is a blood in your urine after voiding this is a condition known as hematuria so you'd always make sure you indicate or you tell your healthcare provider when you notice any of those symptoms so that you get treated on time so that you would not the symptom the symptoms might persist and become a big problem in future another symptom i'm going to talk about is urinary flow velocity becoming reduced okay this is when the stream of your urine become poor so in this case it might come in form of dribbling after urinating okay so you make sure you tell your healthcare provider the fifth symptom is when i'm talking about the loss of bladder control like I said that the prostate gland have a key role to play when it comes to the control of the bladder or urinary control. So when you notice that sometimes we this come like we call it um, incontinence. You might notice you're just staying and you don't even have an idea when you, when you start dribbling, when the urine starts leaking. So in this case, there is a problem with the prostate gland. So please inform your healthcare provider so that you'll be treated on time. So I'm going to also talk about uh, the possible risk factors that is associated with prostate cancer. If your diet is marked by a heavy intake of caffeine, alcohol, refined sugars, and unhealthy fats, this includes unprocessed vegetable oils or trans fats, you're already at a higher risk of developing a prostate cancer. So if you know that you've been having all these diets and you haven't stopped or you have no control over your diet, please, I urge you to have control over your diet today and make sure you eat healthy so that you would improve your overall living and your overall health thank you very much for stopping by my channel today and don't forget to share my videos to reach others and also don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you find my videos interesting bye